No, you say that. What? Now you say that. Now you say that. <laughs> no, you say that. No, what am I saying? Let's go. Let's go. So, we're in Paradise, California, at my parents' house, and we are about to minimize all of my things over here before the Denver move. And right now, I'm feeling this is way too much stuff. Um, I get that minimalism is a spectrum, and some people might look at this and think, holy crap, how can you live your life with that little? And some people could think, Wow, you're really not a minimalist at all. But we're gonna break some things down today and figure out what we need to take, what we can leave behind, what's worth bringing, and what we can just maybe get out there. My strategy, my strategy is to lay everything out and at least get it organized because I just moved, so I'm not really sure where everything is. So I wanna at least start by organizing. And then I guess just go through things one by one and decide. You know this first thing. All right, so we're gonna do a maybe pile. Good idea. Let's not be so black and white. Let's be a little flexible about this. <sighs> Too many piles. Keeping the blanket, blankets. This one for sure, this one, maybe. So we have the definitely keep in your life pile, correct? Where, yeah. We have the definitely not keep in your life pile. It's just, my strategy was to do two piles. <laughs> that was gonna, what was gonna go to Denver and what was just, is gone. What I might keep in my life, what I don't need in my life, and what I'm, what I'm definitely keeping. You got a pile. It just wasn't like part of my original plan. What you wanted two piles of what you're not taking to Denver and what you are. Or, I think we're. It's, it's all the same. It's just that the labels are, <laughs> you know, labels. So, if you don't know. It's a pretty cool way to roll up a cord. I've always called it a witch's braid, but I think it's got some other name. And the only advantage to it, it takes longer than rolling it up in a loop, but the only advantage to it is you can make it, you can make a really long cord shorter. back to what would be the center of the cord. Go once under, pull this through, and you're gonna wanna grab the, oops, whoops, let's try again. Go under, pull that through. Do a chain. It's some chain. That's what it's called. That's something chain. And you just keep going through like that. And you, get the end. and you get a nice, clean looking, organized cord. You hang it on your wall. It lays flat. Let's get all tangled up. So we're pretty much done. I think we've got everything figured out. This here is the pile, but I'm for sure, I think, maybe a few things here and there I can take out, but for sure, this is going to Denver with me, and also this pile over here. And this pile over here, besides these things, are just my tools for work. Um, if you want me to go through, you want me to go through my work tools, my hand tools for plumbing, I could do another video on that. Um, 
And this pile over here is definitely not going to Denver. Probably going to keep some of it. Probably going to get rid of some of it. Either Goodwill or Yard Sale or something like that. So we'll start with this here. This is basically, these four crates are basically going to be my dresser. So I've got, looks like one of them is even empty. And then this is going to be my dirty clothes hamper here. It's just a shopping bag. And then in here I've got underwear, socks, towels, suspenders for some reason. <laughs> I don't know if those should be in there. Um, T-shirts and some flannels in there. And then looks like jackets in there. And then I think the bottom one might be uh, just more jackets, it looks like. And I'm sure there's another pair of jeans in there somewhere. And this is nice because these crates are stackable. So when I put them in the back of my truck, they won't really like fall over because they have these little lips in it. So that's nice. Um, I'm bringing my dirt bike and a helmet and some riding pants. And that's it. And I think I'm actually going to bring that ramp that's right there, but that doesn't take up too much space. That's just going to look good. Um, okay, we've got pillows, and then under the pillow we have like a canvas tarp, a sleeping bag, blankets, that's pretty much all the bedding. This box over here, this blue tub is full of electronics, I have an Xbox and a DVD player and some cameras and some lenses, and that's pretty much it. And that can probably also be compressed down so it doesn't take up the whole tub. This crate's full of camping gear. We've got a tent, a tarp, a camp stove, propane, an air mattress, and a hammock, and a little air pump. And then uh, this little red bag is just kind of for like travel, like weekend trips or something. I've got like a full down comforter in here and some and a camera and some cell phone cords and other stuff like that. And then I have another chrome bag, messenger bag for day hikes or something like that, or dirt bike riding. So that's kind of nice to have. I've got a couple clean canteens and I also have another water bottle that I'm going to bring. Um, this is just full of a bunch of random stuff that probably all needs to be gone through. A pair of tennis shoes. To go along with my boots. So these are just the two pairs of shoes I'm going to have. In here I've got some kitchen stuff, got a little skillet and a little sandwich bag. And just some coffee cups and some plates and um, actually got these really cool little uh, cutting boards for like backpacking or just at the house and they're color coded so you can put meat and vegetables and whatever so you don't get cross contamination stuff in there. Um, a couple of thermoses just for hot soup and coffee and stuff. Crock pot essential and coffee pot pretty essential although I'd like to eventually get like a French press because it's a lot easier it's more instant and just more compact, smaller. Uh, this right here is my bathroom, believe it or not, everything in here. I've got toothbrush and razors and deodorant and dental floss and chapstick and a first aid kit on that side of it. And then on the other side here, I have Razor, some vitamins, tums, hauls. This is just a box full of undeveloped film. So that's not really anything. And those are just heat packs. That's not really anything. This crate is pretty much open to whatever. Maybe I'll put the, maybe I'll put all the canteens in there or something. These are photos, more photos. That's a funny one. <laughs> um, yeah, just lots of photos. And I might not take that stuff with me. I don't know because 
I can keep it here. It's, it'll be fine. But sometimes it's fun to break that stuff out when you're missing home and look at photos from home. So we'll see. And here I've got some movies and some other mementos and some books. Um, probably don't need this 75 California's Mount Shasta region because we're not going to be in California. And under all this, I have tons and tons of maps. Just Grand Teton, Lassen, United States, the world, Plumas, uh, California, other state maps, Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, Oregon. And I don't know, that probably don't need to bring all of those, but we'll see. Laptop, safety deposit box with important stuff in it. Some papers, checks, crayons, art stuff. That's all. That's it. I think we're going to take Courtney's TV. Not my TV, because hers is lighter. A little smaller. That's pretty much it. Hopefully, I'm able to get it a little smaller and just tighten things up a bit. But I think that all of this will fit into the bed of my truck. No problem. He also owns that truck. So, if you want to see more stuff like this, our adventures to Colorado, minimalism videos, uh, packing videos, uh, just travel videos and fun things, just click the like button below or click the follow button below, above, I don't know where it is. I'm not a YouTuber over here, maybe over there. Um, yeah, give us a like, give us a follow, and uh, we'll get back to you.